Hey guys, it's me, Savannah. And today, Danny and I had to split up. He's back at Gatorland doing some cool stuff and I am going with Jackie Siegel, the queen of Versailles from the HBO Max special out to River Ranch to show you guys some of that. And we might be having some alligators out there soon. So let's go on a dual adventure. Danny at Gatorland, me with the queen of Versailles. <laughs> let's get it started. Hi. So this is Jackie Siegel. She is the queen of Versailles. I'm Melvin West. Hey, my name is Sheena. I'm with security. It's up to Siegel back there. I just watched your docuseries. It is wonderful. I want to get the book. And one day when you're out here, I'd like to get you to sign oh, it. Oh, there's a book. Oh, I'm doing an autograph, huh? I know, right? Right when you walk in the door. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Here we go, Victoria's voice. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so excited, thank you. Mochi, did you see that? Oh, Mochi, you're famous. So Savannah's off on a business trip, so I'm all alone. Mike Hammond's probably on the phone somewhere, so. Uh, he's gonna be no help for me. I need to show you guys some cool animals, so I'm gonna get Brandon Fisher. We're gonna go see some of the most invasive reptiles that we have here in Florida. Brandon! Oh, what's up? What are you doing? I'm just checking out the breed marsh today since it's a beautiful day out. It is beautiful. Gatorland. Look, so. I need some help. Savannah's on a business meeting, so I need you to show some animals with me. Let's do it. Come on, let's Come on. go. Right now we're inside with probably the most invasive species of snakes here in Florida. It's our Burmese pythons and our reticulated pythons. Let's see if we can grab them for you. So this right here is a normal Burmese python that you're gonna find down in the Everglades. He's a little small right now, but they can get up to 18 feet, weigh 300 pounds, and these guys can take down like five foot alligators with no problem. That's why we don't want them down here in the Everglades. Uh, we don't want them running around South Florida, taking away our native species like those alligators and all those native birds that they try to eat. Even though there's tons of them down there now, uh, we do not want to keep adding to the problem. You're not going to find these down in the Everglades. This is actually an albino Burmese python. So they're just the same snake, just albino. This one right here is a bright yellow color. Same exact thing though. You're not going to find them on the wild. These are more in the pet trade. A lot of people don't realize these snakes can get so big and so large that once they get that to that size and they realize they can't take them anymore, a lot of people let them go out in the wild. Luckily someone gave this to us so we can give them a good home for the rest of his life. Here in Florida, Believe it or not, we have three species of crocodilians. We have alligators, we have American crocodiles, and we also have these guys, spectacle caiman. Florida is the only place in the world with three different species of crocodilians. These guys don't get very big, only about five to six feet is max for these guys here, but a spectacle came and they're found in South America naturally. And so Florida is a great place for them to be, but they're invasive, they don't belong here. This spectacle came and was actually caught out of the wild by our good friend Joe Wazalewski, given to us here at Gatorland so it could be his forever home. Here at the Westgate River Ranch, we just passed this area over here behind me where we're gonna put a safari, we're gonna have um, giraffes, like tree houses, Right now, uh, we've got camping, we've got glamping, we've got teepees in through these trees here. And my gosh, look at all the campers over here. And this is Evelyn, and Evelyn's the coolest. Hey, I'm Ray. Hey, Ray, how's it going? Hey, nice to meet you. You got to be Savannah. Yep, I'm Savannah. Hey, welcome to the ranch. Like my hat, Ray? Oh, yeah. That's a good one, right? Yeah, Ray's, yeah. Ray's my real cowboy here. Yeah. So he's the real deal. That'll keep this. Sun off your head right there for it sure. Will, it will, it will. When you're outside all day working with alligators, it works really good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey, look at that small buggy! See, when you're at the river ranch, I guess you gotta ride horses, right? <laughs> I yeah. Yes, bust the button off. It's all right, I got the feel of it. <laughs> it's super cute. Another invasive species we have here in Florida is one of these right here, a black and white tegu. So this is Brutus. Brutus was found down the road from Gatorland, just walking down the street. Black and white tangos are normally found in Argentina, but you will find these guys down south a lot. They are another invasive species, not as popular as those green iguanas. You'll probably see those more often, but these guys are another species that's not supposed to be from here, just running around Florida, taking over the second most invasive species, might even be the first, are the green iguanas. They are found down south a lot. A lot of people see them in Key West, down in Key West, Florida. And a lot of people also see them falling out of trees. When it gets really cold, uh, what happens is they kind of freeze up. They can't hold on anymore. They tumble over and they'll fall out of those trees. A lot of the times they will survive when it starts to heat back up. 
They'll get their blood flowing again, they'll come back to life, but they'll run away. Green iguanas come in all different shapes, sizes, and even colors. This is still considered a green iguana. This is a male, his name is Habanero. He's a little bit more spicy than this guy up here. Habanero is on another level over here. He doesn't like people that much. But same species, the same thing you're gonna find down south, the same invasive species that's not supposed to be here. They both look really, really pretty, but not a species we want running around in Florida. Now the next species we're gonna show you guys is not as dangerous as the other ones. It's not it? as dangerous as the other ones, but it's here in Florida and very popular in the pet trade. And the problem with this one is they live with a very dangerous animal. It's got a protector. We have a bunch of them that are actually inside with one of our saltwater crocodiles. Her name is Bob. Can't even walk in there without her trying to attack you. This is a red-eared slider here. One of many we have here at Gatorland. And the thing is, these guys are huge in the pet trade. Having a turtle is not necessarily the best thing to have as a pet. They get big. I mean, they start off really tiny when you buy them, and then they get big like this. And the problem is, is that people don't want to take care of them. Once they get this big, they want to let them go, and they end up in the waterways here in Florida, and they compete with the native species of turtles that are found here in Florida. We don't want to do that. Just all these invasive species that we got going on here in Florida, you don't want to be part of the problem, guys. You want to be responsible pet owners here. He's a cute looking turtle, but they do sure bite hard. Look at that mouth. Wow, there you go, look at that, oh man. Okay, Jackie, so tell us about the safari park that you're gonna build out here. So what we've decided to do is, um, no one wanted to go golfing, so we're turning our golf course into a drive-through safari adventure on golf carts. So I just got word that they have to get rid of a couple of the male buffalo out here. And the question the boss man sent back to me was, do they have cojones? And the answer to that is yes. So we'll see what happens maybe along down the line. Bob, you'll have a boyfriend. You look like you could be my sister, Tequila. <laughs> All right, Jackie, where are we going now? We are going on the Airboat River Cruise. That's gonna be here. fun. Hope we find some cool stuff. What are you doing, little fella? Look at that little buddy out there. I love an airboat Uh, we saw a bunch of babies and a big giant one. So, so cool. This was so, so much fun getting out in the nature. And I'm yeah. So, I'm so glad um, that you got to experience I'm this. I'm so, so glad cool. you invited me. Mm -hmm.